Okay, welcome to updating your iPad to iOS 7. Uh, at this point, you've probably been looking at that little number one on your settings icon and wondering what that's about. That is actually notifying you that you do, in fact, have a software update. And if you've waited until now, uh, that means there have been two little updates in between. So maybe it's good that you waited because you're only going to do this once instead of three times. So you can go ahead and tap on settings. And then notice you should be in your general settings. You should have a little number one next to that. And then next to software update, you also have a number one. So you're going to open up software update, and then it's going to tell you that you have iOS 7.0.2 to update to. If you um, did this earlier, then you had iOS 7.0 and possibly 7.0.1. So uh, now we are at 7.0.2 for some bug fixes. So I'm going to go ahead and tap download and install. It's going to ask you to agree to the terms and conditions, so you just scroll through that and then hit agree in the bottom right corner, and then make sure you tap agree. This will give you the estimated time remaining. If you tried to do this on day one, you, this probably spun and spun and spun for a good long time, but right now it's going to happen in just under two and a half minutes for me. So we'll come back in just a sec after this finishes downloading. The update is going to download for a little while and then you'll get a message that says it's preparing update. After it prepares the update, you're going to see a message that is that the iPad is verifying the update and then your iPad will restart with a new icon and it will look like this. When the iPad is finished restarting, you will see an update complete message and it will run you through some of the settings that you just need to um, put in, including your password for your Apple ID, so you'll need that. And then it may ask you for a passcode, so you can add your passcode then. Um, so you just run through those settings, make sure you enable location services, and then you're good to go. Once you update to iOS 7, you're going to notice that your icons are going to look a little bit different. So everything is a little less three-dimensional, a little flatter, and a little more colorful. So that your stuff is all still here, it's all in the same place, but the icons may have changed slightly. Like your settings icon, where it used to be sort of three gears, sitting on top of each other, now they're sort of nested. Your app store icon is slightly different. Your photos icon, for example, used to be a sunflower. Now it's sort of those overlapping rainbow petals. Your camera icon looks a little different. So like I said, everything is still here. It just may look a little bit different. So familiarize yourself with what your icons now look like. Also, some of the features that you used to use before, like double tapping the home button, may change the way that you do things. Um, so whereas before we would tap the home button once to search, that no longer works, but placing your finger anywhere on your screen and dragging straight down will bring up that search feature. So it's actually a lot faster to search. So I can just swipe down really quickly on my screen and bring up my search feature. Also, where I would used to have to double tap the home button to access my multitasking bar, now I can just swipe one finger up from the bottom of my screen and I can access things like my Wi-Fi connection, my Bluetooth connection, my Do Not Disturb, my lock screen, so I can lock my rotation, my airplane mode, and I have my volume in a really accessible place and my brightness in a really accessible place. I have a timer that I can access right from that screen and I have my camera that I can access right from my screen. And again, that's just a swipe up from the bottom. One finger, swipe up to access your multitasking bar. The other thing that's a little bit different is quitting apps. So where we used to quit our apps in the multitasking bar below, that multitasking bar is now really for more of our settings and some features that we access all the time. Quitting an app now, we double tap the home button and that will bring up all the apps that are open on our iPad. And then to quit an app, we access it by centering it and then swipe your finger straight up on the app to remove it. So that is quitting an app. So I can quit all my apps really, really quickly and then just tap your home button once to bring yourself back. Now deleting apps is going to be pretty much the same process. So you can tap and hold on any app to delete it the app will start wiggling and you still have that little X button to remove the app. So that process is pretty much the same and then you just tap your home button one time to make the app stop wiggling. So that's the really quick and dirty 411 on iOS 7. 
I think it's pretty safe to go ahead and update now, making sure that um, any apps that you use all the time are compatible with iOS 7. I haven't run into too many that aren't. Um, most app developers were on board with that pretty early. So uh, if you have any questions or you need anything, let me know and happy uh, updating.